Hey everybody, it's me again. So I wanted to go ahead and say, for first things first, I'm healthy again. I've, I know in the last video that I recorded, I had been going through a lot of emotional stuff with somebody that was really close to me. And I, I'm not the type of person that deals really well with stress to the point to where it was affecting me physically. I ended up um, going to the hospital for, I was there for six and a half hours with dehydration. I don't know if that I included that in the last video or not, but so I, I wanted to start recording videos to get back to who I felt that I was and and just getting back to being me because one of the things I noticed, because I've been journaling since I went through that, was I allow myself to change for other people because I, I feel... And it's something that stemmed from like being picked on as, and and stuff from being younger that I didn't people didn't want me around, which, when I think about it, doesn't make any sense because I make friends or whatever, and they don't know they, they don't know you off the bat. So they choose to be around you because they like your personal energy, and they like who you are on the outside. But what I was doing was learning the things that they would like and picking those habits up to make them like me more which is stupid because they liked me in the first place for who I, I already was and I shouldn't have had to change myself for anybody but I was I was ch changing myself to the point to where I didn't like myself as a person anymore and I don't I don't want to get like that again I never want to have a situation where I end up having to go to the hospital because as, as much as I want to work in the hospital being a healthcare professional I don't actually like going to the hospital to be in the hospital so that's that's something as like I don't want to get to that point again. I never want to have to change myself for somebody else for them to like me. It's one thing if I pick up something because it's something I genuinely like. It's another thing if I, I start doing stuff like out of my comfort zone and all that and, and just because I want the person to like me more and think it'll make them keep me around because honestly that's being fake and I, I really don't, that's not who I want to be. But so here I am I'm back with another video and this is going to be, um, I, I'm Kwanzaa-esque inspired video, so what it is, I'm not going to say Kwanzaa-esque, it's one of the terms from Kwanzaa, pretty much it's Ujama, which means cooperative economics, we must support our own businesses and organizations and collectively gain profit. So like I said before in a couple of my past videos, I like to support black businesses. So every now and like I'm, I haul stuff and every now and then it'll be included in smaller videos, but I like to just go ahead every now and then and make a bigger video of like stuff I've collected over the past couple weeks, months, whatever, and collectively let you guys know about everything that I've purchased or whatever. So that's what this video is about today. I'm going to get around to doing my six month lock update soon because the 29th, which is next Thursday, is actually my six month lock anniversary. I thought it was only going to be five. No, I'm actually almost halfway a half a year in but so I just got my locks retwisted and everything a few days ago a and style this is my first style ever where it's uh it feels like it's flat twisted across the top of my head all all the way over and it's, it's really unique and now that like my um now that I've slowly gotten away from like the headache that I get when I um get my hair retwisted it's I'm starting to like it more but so enough about that let me get into the video and just hop into it <laughs> so one of the things that I picked up is the I, this is only the second time I washed my hair it was in the in my lock video is the Alakay Naturals moisturizing black soap shampoo it looks like this it's it settles to the bottom so you have to shake it up before you actually use it and it's kind of like a mud wash it doesn't to me it didn't lather a whole lot which is good so it didn't strip your hair um you pretty much, it has the, the applicator tip, like if you had like color or something, you squeeze it onto your scalp and you massage into your scalp. And it worked really great. It smells really good too, which is like, I'm one of those people, I need something to smell good. Like I said before, healthcare professional. So I like stuff to smell good, but at the same time, it can't be so overpowering to the point that I can't tolerate it. Uh, and this did linger after I washed my hair, but like I said, it smelled great. It's like a light fruity scent so that was really great um another thing everybody keeps texting me now of course because the minute I start recording a video I think I've had like three texts in one minute or not one minute it's really like five at this point but so another thing is um I've mentioned before I'm a brand ambassador for Ashley's Naturals it is a holistic health care well not health care that's not the word I want to use holistic body care self-care 
company pretty much so I can take care of my yoni because I did a whole video on that um and everything else I'm not including the yoni stuff in this video what I'm actually including is the energy cleansing chakra elixir so this is what it is right here it's just a light spray you got to make sure you spray all seven chakra points usually I only remember to hit six I always forget the throat chakra for some reason but that's what it looks like it's just a light mist you can either spray it completely around your room or just on yourself and you say your intentions as you spray so if you want to remove negative energy you say I am removing the negative energy or whatever and you spray and that's what I've been doing is also um, something that's been helping me after going through everything so I'm, I'm definitely so glad I picked this up like when she was having her Black Friday Cyber Monday all that sale I don't know if I included this in that video of my haul video from her but this is what it is it's amazing stuff it's it's not a really heavy scent because I do have a different chakra spray that I, I was originally using for my locks because people would touch it all the time. It bug the shit out of me. But this one's a lot lighter in scent, so I like it better. The other one is like sage and something else, and I'm not really huge on sage. So another thing is this Onion Handmade Cocoa Mango Bar. It's pretty much like a solid lotion bar, and... You can tell it kind of looks warped because I rubbed it like down the flat part of my arms and my shin. So it's got that indent into it. It smells more like, it's it's more like, it's got cocoa butter in it I think. Let me see. Yeah. Coconut oil, cocoa seed butter. Yeah, cocoa seed butter. So you can smell that in it. You don't really smell like the coconut a whole lot in it or the mango. But it smells really good. Now, for winter time, it's to me, it's not heavy enough for winter time to hold, seal the moisture into my skin. Now, if I go ahead and seal it on top with um, my other lotion bar from Naturally Insatiable, if I use these together, then it's perfect. It seals the moisture into my skin. And I, I like I have the, the, coconut, the, the light mango-y shea butter nut butter smell from that and then this one has like a light lemony scent to it i use this on my on my skin and my hair and it works out great these two work great together to keep the moisture into my skin but just by itself i can't do it this one if i want to use it just i never use this one just by itself either if i'm not using with it with this i actually use it with her shea butter mix and she just sent me another one a couple days ago um that has a like a fruity scent to it and i'm slowly using that so on to the next thing is this cold and con cold and flu congestion salt. I actually got this from, there's actually a black owned business in Delaware. It's up the street from me and I can't think of what it's called at the moment. See, one more text message. Can't think of what the name of the business is. But I picked this up and pretty much when I first started developing the flu or sinus congestion, it was everything at once when I got that earlier this year. But so... I literally, you can just dump it in water and let smell the steam. See? Still texting. But this is what it looks like. Um, it's not even that whole lot of ingredients. It's dead sea salt, menthol, peppermint, and eucalyptus. Oh, Suds Bar Soap and Essentials, Dover, Delaware. But so that's what this is. So let me get to like the two, I guess, items that I'm wearing. So one are these earrings. And... You know, it sucks. I cannot think of the name of the person. Worn by written. There we go. So, I bought these. They're fabric wrap Sankofa earrings with quartz crystals on the bottom. I should probably actually go ahead and, like, spray these with the chakra spray, too, to cleanse them. Because I wore these right around when I was having all that funky stuff going on with me. But so, they're like this. They're, they're pretty big, but they're wood, so they're really light. And I really like them. And so another one, I have bought so much from this company, I could, prob I could probably be a brand ambassador for this company too. That's just like literally how much I wear his stuff. But so I have to actually get up for this one because it's on my chest. So what this is, oop, is my Ferronicor top or sweatshirt crop. Off the shoulder, bleh. I think I bought mine in a medium. I've had this about for maybe a year, and I have maybe six or seven items from Ferronicor. I actually want one more. It looks like it's like a, a Letterman jacket, but it's got the Heru on the back in purple. Like, I'm so excited. Tax returns. Like, I, I'm buying that jacket. I, I, it's official. I'm getting that jacket. I'm claiming it for myself. I'm buying that jacket. I don't, I, I know it's, it's freezing. Well, to me, it's freezing in Delaware at like 38 degrees. And it's funny as hell because when I lived in South Carolina, 45 was cold to me. I live in Delaware. 45 is freaking amazing. It's like, this is great. This is warm. I can go out in shorts. I'm not that crazy, but that's just how like the weather feels. So for me, like 38 is really damn cold. 
So, like, I will layer up t-shirts, sweatshirts, whatever, but I am, I am buying that Letterman jacket. I'm going to just say, I think I'm going to guess that I need a medium. I'm getting that jacket. Okay, so I'm going to stop moving my head so much because I find it, like, distracting to see, like, the one earring wiggling so much. But so the next thing that I have is this hat right here. It is from Kenti Renaissance. Sorry, my eyebrows aren't done. I was like, my head was already hurting from getting my, my locks retwisted and the style wasn't about to let anybody cause pain to my face too. But so it's got, whoop, where'd it go? That right there, this lovely lion on the front. I, uh, I was so hyped when I could finally start wearing hats again. Like, I love this hat. He actually makes it in um, black, and, black and gold too. And it's also one where it's black and white and it's got like a black power fist on the side. But I wanted the all black on black hat because to me it's just so unique. And you don't see a lot of people with the, a hat like this. You always see like people with like Raiders hats. That's my team. But, or, or Green Bay. That's like my second favorite. But whatever. So this is a really, re really, really unique hat. And it's from Kenti Renaissance. Oh, all right. So another thing is, I know I mentioned this in my last, I guess, Black Hall Connected Collective Economics video. Good Lord, that is a mouthful. But I bought something else, so I'm going to include her again. This is uh, called Lilac Wine, and this is from Peace Images. And it's actually the way it sits, it's so it sits up on the side of your collar, like right along here. And it, it's really beautiful. I love this necklace. She actually has another one that I really want that's still sold out. So... If, it, if she ever puts it back up on her website, trust me, I will be the first person to know and buy it. And the minute I have it, you will see it. It's actually a thicker, chunkier chain. The Anklex sits right here. I can't even think. The Sidewinder. There we go. I was about to say, I can't think of the name of it. Got it. <laughs> but so I bought this from her for before Black Friday weekend again. And the Postal Service like hated me this year because... They're like, she gets so much damn stuff to her house because they lost this package. It never left. We, did, we could not find it. They, they were supposed to be trying to like recover it and send it back to her, but it never made it to me. So it took maybe about a month and a half before I was like, hey, I never received my stuff. And she sent me a brand new one. And it made it here within like two days. So the next thing is, I think I might have mentioned this one before too. Um, this is from... Pele. I'm not going to try and say the name of her, her real name because I'm going to butcher it and I don't want to do that. But so this is my set of waist beads. And this is the first pair I owned. I actually ordered another pair from a, a different lady and hers are made a little different. But um, I'll get to those eventually. I, I To me, this that's a new sort of like femininity thing for me. And I, I know there's a whole like background historical thing and I'm slowly learning about that but right now for me it's just because I went through a phase where I didn't think I was attractive and I still every now and then feel that I mean you're always going to be unattractive to somebody but you should never feel unattractive to yourself so that's my thing is they make me feel and I hate to use this word to describe myself because I actually like really get offended when people call me this but they make me feel sexy and I love these I got to pick the color I got to pick the charms so the Nefertiti charms that are on the side I picked these out. She, I don't even think she, originally she did ones with jewels on them, or with charms on them, but I asked. She's actually the same person who created my lock jewelry. I don't know if I featured them in my last video or not. If not, let me, if I did, I did. If not, comment down below if you've seen the last video, if I mentioned it or not. Alright, so my next thing is here, and I gotta make sure I'm holding this the right way. It is actually a body chain. And this is why I didn't feature, I had my item on from her, this vendor, in the last I, last video like this, but I forgot. So what is the Chakra Body Chain? And this is from Nontal Creations. And again, I cust I had this one custom designed for me too. She, I got to include my measurements. I actually probably need to like go up an inch or whatever when I measure, because I measure everything like really close to my body. So when I'm really, I'm saying like, oh, it's like 16 here, blah, blah, and the other, I probably should be like 17 or 18 just to make sure things work out. But so it's copper. She picked all the shot, the um, the stones. She's like, was there any specific ones? You want the only one that I wanted was malachite, because I remember when I was studying stones and and going through my whole like learning the the white man's washed down version of like the true, uh, like like the watered down version of like African religion. So I was learning about stones and I learned about malachite and how it's for your heart chakra and how it's um if you're in danger it's supposed to break. So I picked that one deliberately. That was the only thing else. Every other stone she picked for me, it's beautiful. I haven't worn that out literally because I, 
I've changed how I dress when I go out before every now and then like I would like dress to go out for attention I've gotten to the point where I don't do that anymore I dress to go out just to have fun so I'm usually in like jeans shirt I, I'll, I'll dress it up a little bit with like crop top or something but I my thing is now I want to be comfortable in who I am and not like feel like I'm putting myself on display so the last two items the first one is from Nubia Apparel and if you follow me, like, right around, I got this before I went home for Christmas. And the thing was, the postal service, like, was late shipping it out. So I was worried I wasn't going to get it because I wanted my parents to see me in this. Because this is a shirt that I wore home. It is my Black Power t-shirt. And it just describes, like, the different things about Black Power, Black people in general, whatever you want to call us. Um, universal, spiritual, educational, visual, political, musical, ancestral, intellectual. Like, and then on the back... There we go. There we go. I'm trying to hold it up so you can see it and still keep my face in the shot. But so I wore this shirt home for Christmas. I love it. It's amazing. It's really comfy. I was worried that it was going to fade when I washed it. I, it didn't. It's held up really well. I'm probably going to like make a whole outfit around this soon. I don't. I think I'm going to try to do that. To do like everybody does like their lookbooks or outfits today. I want to do like African inspired like looks of the day but not with like. I don't have a whole lot of African print stuff, and I wouldn't know how it was going to look for me, but, like, from brands that I've actually purchased from. Let me know if you think that would be a good idea. And then the last thing is actually this little tablet case slash clutch from Tribal Immunity. Um, it looks like this. I deliberately picked it out because it had the RBG on it. It's uh, vegan leather. W will somebody leave me a comment explaining what the heck that means? Because I can't get past the idea of it being vegan, which is no animal products or meat, cheese, none of that. And leather at the same time like it does does not compute in my head but so this is it I actually wore this out last night I've had it for a couple weeks and finally I no, I've had it for about two weeks they're actually really close to me too I think they're in New Jersey or something but they do furniture clothing everything and I'm like I have hit or miss with clothes especially because me being sick I lost actually 12 pounds and I just gained some of it back when they when they weighed me I was 118 now I'm like up to 122 so I'm, I'm happy I'm slowly gaining my weight back but so I wore this last night to go out with my friend and it's it's really interesting it's like it's a statement piece it's not too big like you can I have I, what did I put it in my phone two forms of ID some cash and like the nude lip gloss that I had on last night because I didn't again toning down how I was going out but so this is what I wore last night and so that is everything for this video i'm gonna keep looking around my room to see if i have anything else but until then like comment subscribe if you haven't already leave me comments about what other brands you think i should be looking at to review i'm already looking at purchasing some stuff at like that that letterman jacket that haru letterman jacket mine but so let me know what you think i should be doing leave me comments down below and i'll talk to you guys next time bye